nightmare. 25. Let's not waste any time. Let's do it. Here is the packaging. Your nightmare 25 is going to come in. Pretty groovy looking box. Been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a little while. And um, they've not really been that easy to get. So, a little bit of look at the box. Suicide. Oi. Go okay, quick look at that for you. 25 millimeter. Quick look in there. Yeah, all right, what do we got? Two Allen keys. That's uh, it's interesting. <clears throat> Probably one for the squonk pin, I dare say. Little spares baggy. Yep. Oh no, there you go. Your squonk pin's a normal flathead. That's interesting. All right, I'm sure we'll figure it out. <clears throat> and there she is, your little 25 in there. I like that. I like that it's wrapped though. Nice that. I think the uh, the trilogy come like that. Something else I bought a while ago. Vapor's Cloud came like that. Not saying Suicide Mods is Vapor's Cloud. I'm not saying that. But they are, aren't they? Uh, well, look at that. Really? Um, I love the engraving on that. Very well done. Love it. Beautiful. Quick look at the bottom. 12.55 I've got. It's got the squonk pin pre-installed by the looks interesting and uh, would those be a little what are they for are they little plugs for in there because there's a whole other 510 in there why would you need those all right like the drip tip too low profile and there it is Look at that deck oh Really wish the whole thing had it just been done in black. You know, kind of similar to uh, the Valhalla. Um, or, or even all sandblasted. The Valhalla was sandblasted. Um, or they could have done something look closer to the Axial Pro here. Um, just not a fan of that fucking gold plating that looks horrid. Absolutely disgusting. But, oh well. I love, however, the um, little rainbow effect at the bottom there. That is pretty groovy. I like that. You see that? Got a whole, uh, yeah, anodized looking effect. Very nice. I like that. But they should have been black. You could have just done that like that. And you, uh, maybe not. Anywho, there looks to be quite a bit of room there for some, some chunky coils, eh? Look at those big beefy holes there. Ignore me fingers. Beautiful looking airflow, that. It's going to come from here. And that's where your little slots are on the side here. So it's going to come up through there. So I reckon you're going to want your coil placed directly over this little bit here, right there. So that's where we're going to try and get them. So look at this, all one piece, is it all one piece? No. Yes it is. All one piece. Interesting. So the airflow's non adjustable. 
so that's how you're going to adjust it. But um, you do that and you're immediately lopsided, I guess. I mean, I guess we're trying to pull away from two cap designs. I like that it's not, it looked like it was, I kept trying to push it out. That's not, there's no seam there. So it is, it's just how they've built the track on there. They've built the track on there so that uh, you can adjust your airflow while it's just on there. See that? Closed off. All the way closed off. It's completely closed. And you come back left. And that's exactly where you're going to probably want to rock it. I'm going to smash those coils right over those airflows. That's what we're going to do. Alright. The coils I'm going to be using today, brought to us by Celtic Coil Art. Go give him a follow over on Instagram. Does some incredible work. Look at these beautiful things. I've been using his coils quite, quite a lot lately. If you haven't seen my recent videos, then um, maybe you haven't caught up. But uh, yeah, fuck, what a top bloke he is, and he makes some incredible coils. So we're using. Aliens here, got the specs on the back there. Yeah. Alright. Let's take these bad boys, throw them in there. That's the positioning I've gone with. Let's have those coils look in there. God. Perfect positioning, I think. Point one one we're looking at here. Get some of these hot spots out. Gonna get just as rainbow as the deck. Go, looking good. Point one ohms, right on the dial. We'll wick her up, jump back on top, vape on it, and talk about it some more. Clutch has been the weapon of choice. She looks right on top of there, doesn't she? Mr. Celtic Coil Art doing the job here. Very nice, very very nice. Now, as I was wicking this, I had a funny thought, which is probably why I shouldn't have stopped the camera rolling. But um, it did, it's reminded me of a lot of drippers in the past. I think there's a Kennedy it reminds me of. Um, but uh, definitely the deck reminds me of the, I think it's the Deja Vu even as well. I don't know if anyone else really got into that, but I loved the Deja Vu. Oh, that snap. Listen to that. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Love that. And it spins so freely too. I don't like I don't like airflows that don't perfectly line up. You know, they have to go awkwardly through the channel. So I'm probably only ever gonna run this fully open. Let's give her a two. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Oh yes sir, believe the hype. Now, straight away, 
I can't imagine that the 28 rendition original would be all that much different from this here 25 other than maybe this much. You probably you probably wouldn't even get an extra wrap. You might just get an extra wrap. So uh, I always say the smaller the better because better flavour that way. And uh, yeah, they've taken three mil off it. I reckon this one will probably outshine the fucking 28, but I haven't used it, so this is incredible. I'm absolutely shocked. I, I don't drip, remember guys, I'm not really a big dripper guy. I use them for the brief periods where I'm using my mechs at home. That's about it. Otherwise, I'm always on RTAs. Always. Whether it's a mech or a reg, I'm always on an RTA. This, however, is fucking beautiful. I love those engravings. Oh, they've done incredible there. Looks so good. Flavor's fucking ace. One day we go dripping down the middle. See how much leaking we get. That was a fair whack of juice just then. Swirly, swirly. Don't see nothing. I'm not going to tilt it too much, but... Fucking beautiful. This company, whoever they are, Vapors Cloud, uh, you know, this is fucking phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. I can't stop hitting it. That says something. That is that is beautiful. Everything down those tolerances I love. The finish, the matte finish they've done is incredible. The slight domage here up. I love that. The little lip. It's done really well. Nice curved. The engraving is beautiful. Love the airflows. Look at this. We'll try it. We'll try it that way. Ready? Actually, that's that's probably even better. Shit, that's even more in my wheelhouse there, right there. <laughs> Half closed, 0.14 in there. Forget about it. That's uh, that's Flavor Town and a half. I am in love. They've done a great freaking job with the nightmare. I'm so happy I was able to finally pick one up in um, the matte black. It's been a long, long time. And uh, yeah, finally managed to get my hands on one. I've only got one con. Literally, the one con is the gold-plated deck. With the gold-plated posts on the deck. That's my only con. Good on you, suicide. RDA gets a 10. Easy get a 10. Give it a 10. Why the fuck not? You can't fault it. There's nothing I can fault with it. I really can't. Simple as fuck to build. Beautiful tolerance is beautiful. Tastes beautiful. Looks beautiful. This is a personal tenor for me. I'm going to be using this one for years to come, that's for sure. Step aside things, uh, what do I use? There's way of drippers, fucking, I don't know, things like the Brizos and the Goons and all that of the past. Here we go. Great work. Remember everyone, keep on vaping, keep on preaching.